Yo, 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 I'm Rowan Westlick, an RTF student at ACC, and you're watching ACC About Town. We're here at the Austin Film Festival, and you get to come with me on this journey where we're gonna sit in on some panels, watch some screenings, and talk to some industry professional filmmakers. Are you ready? Let's go. What has been like some of the changes um, over the years for Awesome Film Festival and how do you keep it fresh? Yeah, um, we're always adding more things. We're getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, so for example, this year we've added a new media track on Saturday. Um, so that's like a, a series of panels that's all about writing for the digital space. Um, so we're always trying to find new ways that writers can find opportunities to get their stories out there. So we have new media, we introduced a narrative fiction podcasting track a few years back that's been very successful. Um, so a lot of new programming. We have some new awards that we're introducing this year, uh, a producer award award and a new voice award to try and get some some new voices to kind of um, come into the conference as well. Hello. Hi, I'm Sam. Rowan, nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> what do you feel is the importance of coming to the Austin Film Festival? I would say being able to see the variety in what there is out there. Um, you know, if, if you're a student and you're interested in telling stories, this is a really great place to come and be able to see how you can do that in so many different ways and to come out and meet people and be able to see the filmmakers work and their films and their shorts um, and then get to actually talk to them. So it's a good accessible way to be able to do that. And so what are you most looking forward to to the Awesome Film Festival this year? Really, it's just going to see Craig Mazin and Script Notes live. You know, I love that podcast, but um, honestly, I'm just here to have a good time. All right. And so what has been the best part of the conference so far to you? It's probably getting interviewed now on this podcast. Or sorry, getting interviewed now. Um, you know, no one ever wants to hear what I think, and uh, this is a very special time for me. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad we could help out with that, and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. So what do you hope to get out of these conferences? Um, I definitely hope to learn a lot. I also hope to meet a lot of people. Everyone's been super nice and like just, you know, willing to speak and share their ideas, share their work. So definitely looking to network as well. All right, and so would you say that's the best part of this conference so far? No, the panels are. The panels have been phenomenal. Really, like, I've learned so much already. As a writer, what kind of like inspires your ideas? Where do you get your ideas from? That's a good question. I mean, uh, I've written a lot of period pieces, so sometimes um, I use history as my guide. Um, other times it could be a story that I heard, it could be an experience that I had. Um, ideas just kind of come from everywhere. Sometimes it might be a piece of IP that somebody brings to me, intellectual property. Um, so ideas just kind of come from all different areas. Um, I think what's most important to me as a writer is how I connect with the material and if I can connect. Because I, I try not to write things that I don't feel passionate about or that I don't feel an emotional connection to. So what we 
we have here is uh, a motion control system. We're six axis uh, productions. We're uh, Austin's only motion control solution that's uh, local right now. And we have a brand new technology that's new to motion control that nobody else has called Kaisu. We, uh, this unique way of programming, if you see Jacob over here, who has this hand controller and this tablet, we use this to program the arm, which makes it very, very fast. If you know what you're doing and you got your shots boarded out, we can easily uh, program this arm to do 25, 30 shots in a day, easy. So essentially you come in and we coach you on how to take a great photograph. So you'll be taking the photo yourself and we'll guide you through a process where you get a great image. Then we're gonna show you all of your images. We'll pick out the best ones, print it for you. And then afterwards, if you really like it, you can purchase it. All right, well, let's, let's check it out then. Out of all of these, um, this is totally your call on which ones you like. At the end of the day, we're going to retouch whichever one you choose. Um, going to professionally kind of like whiten the eyes, soften the skin slightly, basically make it look as good as possible. So this is your call. I really am drawn to this image here, and then maybe one of these two. Although I like this, this there's something here that's quite unique. OK. I, I like that one, and I like that one. Perfect. Sweet. Thanks, man. Can you tell us what brought you to the Awesome Film Festival? Well, Rowan, um, I submitted my film. Very first time I've done that, a script I wrote called The Lone Girl, and it ended up rising up to semifinals in three categories. Well, that's awesome. What kind of advice could you give to ACC students? Um, I'm an ACC student uh, who maybe want to write or direct. Uh, do it. That's pretty much the advice. Don't wait for permission. I waited for too long, so I just started doing it. I've got a couple shorts I've made, I've written the script, and now I'm off to the, to the races. So start earlier than I did, okay, guys? All right, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. I'm here with uh, writer Tripper Clancy, who recently just uh, wrote Stuber. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you do, more about what you do, and uh, what brought you to the Awesome Film Festival from LA? Sure, yeah. Um, well, I write uh, movies and TV shows. That's basically what I do. Uh, I, um, I used to live in Austin. I went to graduate school here. And so coming back to this festival that I used to attend, and now coming back as a panelist is kind of a really cool experience for me. It's, it's like the best festival for screenwriters there is. Coming to the festival um, as a Hollywood writer, um, what do you get out of this conference? It's a great question. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I just love, when, when I was coming up, I didn't feel like I had many people to talk to to give me advice, and I always thought if I break in and if, if I become, you know, a screenwriter as a career, uh, that whenever I get an opportunity, I'm going to try to like shed whatever I've learned, give it back to people that are trying to break in because it is a difficult business. It, it's uh, it can be tough on your ego. You get told no all the time, and so it's good to have someone in your corner that can give you advice and tell you that like it's going to be okay. Just keep working, keep your head down, and um, it's going to get better. What's up guys? I'm here at the red carpet for the world premiere of Cowboys. At the Paramount Theater we have John Langmore and Bud Force. I'll be talking with them in just a second. Are you ready? Okay. Hi David Mandel, I'm Rowan Westlick and uh, I'm an RTF student at uh, ACC, Austin Community College. Uh, what kind of advice would you give to film students who want to be where you are right now on this red carpet? Um, for writing, I won't get into the other stuff, but for writing, it's really about the outlining process. That's, that's you know, we're here tonight looking at Seinfeld. That's where I learned to outline from Larry and Jerry. And I can remember, you know, what I thought was an outline to them was, you know, two or three scenes at most. And it forced me to then think, more, what else, what, do you, what else, what else, what else. And when you think about Seinfeld, watch an episode, sometimes turn the sound off. 
you can watch it and it's you see the stories bumping into each other even without the words and it's funny and that's structurally funny not just joke funny it's joke funny too it's acting funny also but it is structurally funny which is not something you can say about every show in the world structure 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 outline 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 that's how you do it all right and so uh where where kind of do you get your motivation how do you keep things fresh um, can you tell us about that? I have an odd, my odd motivation is I'm basically trying to make like my three high school buddies laugh. That's kind of maybe one or two guys from college. I mean, that's kind of my, my, my very strange motivation. Like weird references that they'll get and like and laugh at. That's what I like, so yeah. All right, well thank you so much thank and so much. Uh, have a good rest of your night. How does it feel to be having your movie premiered in the most prestigious theater in Austin, have the road blocked off? Is it, how rewarding is it? It's an absolute honor, because it's my hometown and John's hometown, there's nowhere else we'd rather be. All right, and so do you have family with, here, with you here tonight? Um, who's all here for you? Yes, sir, I got my wife, my, my wife's parents, her, her grandparents, and uh, just about everybody else in the mix, so we're ready to have a good time. All right, how are you feeling, John? Well, I feel great. Uh, yeah, no, it's nice to finally, you, you know, send this thing out into the world. All right. Can you give us one more piece of advice again for any ACC students trying to break their way into, uh, you know, getting to where you are today? I would just say, if, you know, the first thing is just start the project, and the other thing is just do it one step at a time. You know, that is, uh, and then you'll never be too intimidated by the long road in front of you as long as you just stay focused on the next step. All right, and what about you, bud? I'd say do the best you can with what you got to work with, whether that's a phone or a red epic. All right, well, thank you all so much. Good to see you all, and thank you. Good have a good rest of your night. Yeah, of course.